Hey, what's going on? This is Phil Leinberger, and I get this question fairly often. And the question is, how do I walk around the implant 360 degrees to visualize the bone in that entire area? And there's a couple ways you can do it. One way is in the oblique slicing tab. You can use and scroll your axial slice to visualize the implant that you have planned. Use the mouse wheel like a button, push down on it. It's going to center all your slices where you have selected at the center of that implant. The other way to center your views on the implant is to uh, select your center and implant icon over here. Make sure you're on the implant object over here. And then when you select it, all of your views are now centered on that implant. And the other nice thing about doing it this way is you'll notice the axial slice is now perpendicular to the implant that you have planned. Then you can grab these little movement handles and you can now spin these slices around the implant in 360 degrees. So that's one simple way to do it and but this video is really about a different way to do that. I'm going to reset my slices. Okay, so in the curve slicing tab, as well as the other tabs actually, uh, you're going to have an option for generate cross sections. So we're going to select that, and you're going to see a few different options here, panoramic, arch, temporal bone, or implants. What you're going to want to select is implants. And you, you're going to also have the option for parallel or angular. All right, parallel, it's automatically going to generate, if I'm on implants in parallel, it's going to automatically generate 25 slices around that implant that you have already planned in the same angle in which you have planned it. If you want less slices, you can just change the number and it's going to give you less slices to visualize. The other option is angular. And what I would also do is put your thickness on 150 microns. But with angular, you can see you have one slice that's down the long axis of the implant that you have planned. And you can see here the spacing in terms of degrees. In other words, how many degrees between each slice is it going to generate? If you select 10 degrees, you're going to get 18 slices. That's going to be around the implant. And, and so on, 20 degrees, nine slices. Now you might be thinking, well, 20 degrees divided into 360 is actually uh, 18 slices, not nine, but you're really only dividing it into 180. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So 30 degrees, you're gonna have six slices and so on. All right, so let's select 20 degrees. I'm going to get nine different slices around the implant and then you go ahead and select review. And it's going to generate this little cross-sectional report. So now you can see what this generates. Here's my nine slices. I can zoom in. If you're on Zoom, you can zoom in and then reposition everything to see it a little bit more easily. Um, I can zoom in here. All right. Now you can see the slices surrounding the implant. And you're doing the same exact thing as you did in the oblique slicing, which is kind of manually rotating it around. But here, this is nice because now I can actually visualize it in one view and I can see how the implant looks in a 360 degree rotation. And like I said before, it's only calculating into 180 degrees because once you get past 180, it's just the same exact slice from the other side. So that's why the math is done that way. And you can visualize this a couple of different ways. So you can actually see we've got uh, the column count. So this is uh, five. If I want to go down to one, now you actually have just one of those slices. I can change to slide and I use my mouse wheel. Now I'm just slicing through or sliding through each of those individual nine slices that we created. And the other thing that it does, if I go back to curve slicing and 
Uh, a week later, I want to visualize what I have created. If I go down to the gallery, you can see it stores that and saves that report for you automatically. You can see here this little layering icon is telling you that all of these are associated together. And all I need to do is just double click on any of them and then it launches that same report in the review tab. All right, so one slice versus five and everything is saved for future reference. If I wanted to create an actual report of this, you can select your film composer report. And if you have a customized report created, uh, you can see here, it's gonna put this into a nice little report. I can print it or create a PDF and save it and send it off to whoever you want. Um, you can customize these reports to your liking. So I hope this helps and feel free to comment with any questions. Thanks.